Hey, you guys, we are back and we ready to get this over with. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Like, yes. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go get started before I get too happy. Okay. Let's go. Bye. We keep it real. Hey, what's going on, Coed Cam folks? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to another video, of Courtney. Ed. I'm Ed, aka Doug. This is my lovely wife right here. My name I'm is sorry. Courtney. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. aka Coco. I'm sorry. This right here is Courtney. Ed. Yeah, yeah. This channel is all about relationship reviews, okay. entertainment. It's all about you our rants and jokes. And tonight we're gonna be you talking about uh, uh, episode two or part two of the reunion of Married at First Sight. So if you're Here brand new are. to this channel, you had subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Since he's trying to take up in my Slack, list no edits tonight. We running straight on through. All right, Ain't well, nobody messing up. All right, keep it raw, baby. Keep it raw. All right, so <laughs> y'all, let's just go ahead and get into it. Get so into first it. of all, I want to say that um, tomorrow, don't forget that we will be going live oh, at si seven p.m. Central Standard Time. So, yeah, we'll be going live. We'll talk about Married at First Sight, Trash Season, and we'll talk about Ready to Love, also Trash Season. So, we're going to just do Come a vent party. Ready to Love wasn't that trash. We're going to do a, a vent party, and we just, you know, let. Come on, let's go and get it out, Chad. Go and get it out because next week they're going to do a where are the we don't care now. And um, so, yeah, so let's just go and get it out. So, we're don't do forget tomorrow. Um, is going to be alive now. And also I wanted to tell you happy birthday to Liz, our cousin Liz uh, from California. Happy she ain't birthday. my cousin no more. She team Vanessa. <laughs> I got to pull your black card, man. I'm pro-black. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, y'all, let's just go ahead and get into it. So, yeah, she got a surprise for us, too. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Ooh, but, who got yeah, a surprise for Liz. So, yeah. She's, uh, she's you going to make you go. Oh, I know she got. She's going she gonna to bring Vanessa around us. I don't want to see. All right, you guys, let's just go ahead and get into it. So it started out with Emily and Brendan doing the same old thing. Um, um, basically, it was just saying that she that it was some rumors that more rumors, not just that one. It was more rumors that were said, and it seemed like that you know he wanted to sleep with her best friend, whatever the girl name is. That was her ex best friend, her best friend no more, and stuff like that. So, um, b um, but he was like, that's not true. So that's what she heard that, you know, he wanted to sleep with her, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And so anyway, um, he was just saying that he wanted to get out the marriage. She said, well, you're a grown man. You could have been got out the marriage. And he was like, no, because you said that if I got out, I'm going to make your life a living here. So she wanted to go through the process. I guess she wanted to get that check or continue to be on TV, honey. He said, this is reality TV for her, child. This is. He thought it was going to be a matchmaking show, but this is reality TV for her. And I guess she's trying to audition for something because the way she be floating back and forth. And she said that she's going to therapy twice, twice a week. Um, but, yeah. Anything you want to say? Yeah. Yeah, let me say something. Uh, I kind of tapped out in this episode because they were rehashing the same things over and over again. They just arguing back and forth and you don't know who's telling the truth, who's lying. It was just a, it was a, a, a S show, if you know what I mean when I say S show, because you know she crying, pointing finger at him, and he's upset, pointing finger at her. So you don't know who's telling the truth, and you know, and she bases stuff off rumors or whatnot. And it was, what's so sad about all of this is that nobody, nobody brought in hard receipts. Nobody, I didn't see no text messages. I didn't see no receipts. I didn't see no screenshots. Nothing. All we's going, all we doing is going by hearsay. So who, who, who is telling the truth? This is my input on it. Um, and also too is that um, she was also saying that you know um, all of America will believe her and take her side. You know what I'm saying? And that's not true because I don't believe you. And um, she said, yeah, we'll take her side. 
and he'll basically be looking crazy. And that's what she knew that that would get up under his skin. That's why she said that. You know, she knew that his image is so important that, you know, and it really got up under his skin. And that's when he really and truly just started going back and forth and saying, listen, this is not reality TV. Well, it is reality TV, but I guess not the reality TV that he thinks that she wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, man, it's got it. It was getting to the point that I was taking the guy side because the, the the women they was like they were acting like mean girls, man. You know, you know, you gotta stay strong. I understand you're trying to lift each other up and have each other back, but I just felt that energy was like you just want to come on the show and and retaliate and get revenge. That's just my personal opinion about the women. Um, it seems as though that, um, let's see the, um, yeah, but he said that, you know, he told her he wasn't attracted to her and, um, and she just couldn't believe it. She was like, no, you're lying. You're lying. You know? And I guess she told him the same thing or whatever. So it, it really became about, you know, high school. Yeah. And, and we, on the, and later on, we found out that he really and truly, and y'all had called it. Some of y'all called it. He really and truly got turned off about the one night stand, yeah. yeah. That and that what her friend said about you know she liked to party, she a party girl, some like one night stands and all that stuff, whatever. That's what he got 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 turned off about. Yeah, so like I said, they yeah, said it. yeah, they said it in the comments. I didn't hear that part, but yeah, you didn't hear it when tonight. No, them my first, no, I first time hearing it on the show. You know, I heard it, you know them talk about it in the comments, but I never heard it on the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess I would be turned off too. If my wife didn't have one night stands and never been in a relationship. I, that would be a turn off to, for me and myself. Uh, but to say that he wasn't attracted to her, my thing is this even though I don't like O'Lion, I think they did the right thing by calling the quits early. And Brenda should have did the same thing, in my personal opinion. Yep. Um, so it seemed like Austin is sick. And so, you know, yeah, right, Jack. Um, he was telling that camera get out of his face, honey, because he got the bubble goods. And um, so anyway, um, he's not finna return with the rest of the men. Um, Kevin is talking to the men, and um, but yeah, that's when um Brendan was saying he thought that this was a matchmaking show, not a reality TV show. So I guess he came in with the wrong, you know, idea. Brendan, you you was watching the wrong show, man. Yeah. I don't know what you was watching. So Orion uh, had just finished cutting grass. And a then, lion. Yeah. Um, yeah. Camera head, because whatever I he got to it. say, I pay no attention to nothing he got to say. That, that soft spoken voice, oh, because he looked like he just cut grass, and that's all I could see. Oh, the lawnmower. Man, you see a lawnmower. I'll see him like he just got through changing somebody oil in their truck. Oh, that too. Yeah, like yeah. a little mechanic, like yeah. a shade tree mechanic. <laughs> yeah, he been working hard, so he decided to come on in. Um, so camera said that um, it seems as though he wasn't trying to find a way out. Uh, he literally had a broken heart. Child, Cameron, I'm I'm starting to believe that you just full of it. I just really believe that you just full of it. And I don't know what kind of bad acting skills you got, but you just full. Well, maybe you did pretty good, honey, because I was with you for a minute. But yeah, he's just saying he had a broken heart. He called the EKG. Uh, what's the name? Think I ain't got no receipts. He go to receipts. You see it once again. Production. Pulled the okie doke because we saw it in the in the promos. Like I, I got receipts. Receipt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking he gonna pull out a right. letter or, or something about the the, the scandal. Right. But now nah, that joker pulled out his health report. Is it? Uh, what you call it? Uh, EKG. No, nah, what you can say? I just get my what? He pulled out his HIPAA law. The law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So anyway, but yeah. Uh, so that's what he was it, just it saying. Was he was just basically saying that he had no heart issues before that, and so it was a broken heart. That's too much sauce. Well, way too much sauce. He did say it came from stress. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it's but, stress related. Yeah, but he trying to blame it at with the day that he said we ain't gonna, we not gonna be together yeah. no more. I'm going and I, anyway. 
So yeah, but speaking of receipts, if you go to, um, I did see the receipts. I don't know if they real or not, child, but it got Cameron and it got Claire and it's basically saying, hey, we going to do this and all that stuff, whatever. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Married at First Sight uh, fan page. So she um, got the receipts and all that stuff, whatever, but you know, who knows if that Who stuff cares is now? The show's it. over with, man. This season's over. Who cares now? Um, so let's see. At, um, Kevin asked Michael um, to say said that the people feel like that this was staged like your wedding the first time was staged it wasn't real he was like let the people know he said no it was actually real and that lady turned around and said mm -mm, get somebody else to do it so now you got camera says shoot i'm gonna do what austin did and i ain't feeling good i ain't gonna go back out there or i ain't going out there so i feel a little faint my heart my heart my heart cameron you put you played that very well you laid down the foundation said you got a bad heart but the time you want to get outside, of, uh, come to see Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm having the big one. That's true. <laughs> so, that's yeah, true. That's pretty smart. Because uh, they said, Cam, you okay? Is this yeah. too much for you? Yeah, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. So, anyway, so they're calling all the singles back in because they all single chat. So, um, yeah, Cameron and Austin, they out. They don't want to go back in there with them cackling women, child, crying and doing all this over uh, exaggerated emotions and stuff. They ain't got time to deal with it, so they're going to go and leave. Um, Michael, uh, first of all, Michael apologized to Chloe for how the process went for him and how he basically was not ready. And so he dragged her along, yada, yada, yada. I thought that was wonderful. Lauren was like, Ooh, now that's what you do. That's how you do it. Um, Brennan apologized to, Brennan apologized to Emily for not being transparent. Emily should have just okay. I appreciate it. But yeah, get to the knob. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I keep saying. These women, they came in acting like mean girls. Like you said, she she should have took his apology and rolled with yeah. it. But she had to get the last word in. She had to retaliate. Now, to me personally, I think his apology was sincere. I do. Yeah. You know? I don't care whether it's still not good. Nobody... She's not gonna, but the point is she's not going to let it go. Yeah, just let it go. But well, she's not. She, she don't. For some strange reason, she refused to let this go. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of uh, uh, bond, what you call it, a trauma bond she got going on with, with, with him. But she do not want to let this go, man. I, girl. I, Brandon, I, yes, I, man. Hey, Emily, uh, uh, you won. You say, <laughs> Emily, you won. You know, just yeah, go ahead, get the last word. In, everything Emily. you say is right. Yeah. But listen, the, the fact too is that whatever man finna date this woman next, oh man, be well, child, because Jeez. honey, y'all is locked. What they say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you locked in, honey. Yeah, that's what, like you said, maybe that's the reason why she never had a relationship. She yeah. probably never have another one. Yeah, she she acting like she loose. I mean, what? What do you mean? I mean mentally. Not, you know, crazy. She act like she's crazy. What you looking like that for? What I used the wrong word. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, so she said instead of her just taking it, Emma's like, I don't think it's genuine, and da 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 blah blah blah. And then you could hear Lauren say, "Hey man," I was like, "Lauren, how? Why is you in it?" Lauren, she, you know how, so I don't know who said it. I think it was Doctor Peel. I think she said it. When the women supposed to be having each other back, that's good and dandy, but it seemed like they feeding the fire more and more when they all together like that. And I'm thinking Lauren, she's she's falling into that black hole and she getting sucked in, and that's why she chiming in like that. I think sometimes Lauren be the lead. She be acting like when they be doing them little huddles in the back and mm. stuff like that. It's okay, girl, we got this. The men I, suck. I, I, why can't we get yeah, some more? I think she, all right. Please. Yeah, right. yeah, I think yeah. she's. I think Laura's bitter too. I do too. I think she's bitter and she's mad. She's hurt and she's trying to hide it. She's trying to hide it. Yeah, but she's, you know, she's showing it. If she don't believe it or not, she's showing she's it. She's showing it because how, look how she acted. Like you said, men are trash. Uh, we're gonna get these. We're gonna get the men back. Oh, uh, we're gonna pay them back. They garbage. You know, they gave us the wrong men. Right. So yeah, and then, you know, too. I understand uh, it's hard to look at O-Line. I really do. But the time when they were sitting down having yeah, a she didn't, yeah, even she look at him. Yeah. I'm like, girl, look at him. If you really truly over him, smile. Mm -hmm. Smile and look at him, child. Well, I'm him. just, you know, I got to take a win. When, when's a win's a win. She didn't cry. So I take that win. 
Yeah, but yeah. sometimes you turn that um, no crying into anger. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, rather really you have the anger to cry. Cause <laughs> at first you let this man walk all over you. So hey, you got to be angry, to, you know, to prove your point. So big. So anyway, Emily gets enough gumption. Well, she tried to with girl. You need to stop trying to with these the whole son, especially black ones. Girl, you get somebody else to do it. So anyway, <clears throat> so Emily want to get in her friend feeling. So you know she tried it with Keisha. <laughs> Now she finna try it with Kevin. <laughs> That's a K, K, K. Don't try it with this K. So now she finna try it with Kevin and just say, why don't, why don't y'all believe Claire? Like, I, I, I don't understand. Like, she's just not getting fair treatment. Like, I'm saying, Claire, I don't understand, girl. What? What are you talking about? And Kevin was like, I, I don't understand. What, what do you mean? Like, who are you talking about? She said, like you. Like, like, I don't understand. Y'all, y'all not giving her no grace or anything. And he was like, well, to be honest, Emily, all of y'all deceived us. You deceived me. You deceived the staff. You deceived everybody. You didn't deceive me. Yeah, sure showed that. When I first saw that cast, oh, they're going to be garbage. But no, they didn't deceive, they deceived y'all. But they didn't deceive me because I knew what was going on. And he said, um, he said, like, really, truly, I'm not going to raise my voice with you. You know, just communicate. You know, and it seems like he shut her down in a nice way. Baby, sometimes when you do that microphone and you have it all up, it's giving feedback. I'm not touching that. You, even though I, say, I hear it when I do it, so that's why I stopped touching it. So when I'm you, not touching this though. It ain't. It's sensitive. So even though you're not touching that, when you touch around it, you can hear the feedback of you moving it around. Okay. I'm just letting you know because I done it too. So yeah, when I've done it, I said I'm not gonna touch that microphone because when I do move it, I hear the feedback when I'm you know editing the video. All right. So you y'all see, he don't like me telling nothing what to do. He yeah, likes, you sound you sound like just really. like doing women on that panel. That's what you sound like. But go ahead. Okay. Yeah, he don't he don't like me to give him feedback, Jack. Because see, I'm the one to edit these videos while he sleep or, or I had a long day. Oh, we know that, but we ain't talking about this day. We talking about long, just other, other day. Long, I had a long week so far, man. 14, 15 hours a day. Okay. Out there in that. In the in the element working yeah, hard for the money, hot. it wasn't hot. Working hard so for anyway, the money in the hood. Yep. So um. So yeah. So anyway, basically, Kevin just pretty much shut her down in a nice, graceful way, honey. She ain't had nothing to say after that. <laughs> anyway, she tried with somebody else. So um, Brenda said that you know um. Uh, I talked to your friends and you uh. Oh yeah, he said that. Okay, so Brenda was basically saying that you know he really truly. The, the situation with Emily, the way he just got turned off with it, he after he they had to win, turn over, he liked it, he thought she was cute or whatever, talked to the friends, and friends was like, you know what, she liked to turn up, she, you know, da 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 And he was like, that just kind of pretty much turned him off. And plus, he was like, you know, I make more money than you. She was like, ah, uh, no, you don't. I make more money than you. No, he didn't say that. See that guy, you going to say it, say it right. He said, after I found out about your finances, he said that was another scary part about it. And that's when she said something about, you know, uh, he said, well, I want to find out about your finances. You know, I found like I made more money than you. Then she said, no, I make more money than you. He said, no. She said, yes, I do. I said, God, are these 12 year olds or 22 years old or 32? I don't know. They had like kids. So, O'Lion is back from cutting the grass, but he had to go back out. So, anyway, so Chloe said that, you know, for her, like I said, I know that some of the women, and we'll find out in the next episode, they don't like Chloe, stuff like that, or whatever. But I feel like Chloe is one of the most sane, mature women on that cast. She's and the only one on that cast that's mature. Didn't I just say No, that? you said one of. Well, I was kind of putting Michael kind of in there, you know what well, I'm saying? Well, he's a woman. I didn't say woman. You said woman. I said one of the most, I said one of the most, no, you rewind. I did not yeah, say a woman because I wasn't thinking of woman. Yeah, yeah. I said, you no, said one of the most uh, mature. Oh, women. That's what you <laughs> said. Women. Yes, you did. I didn't say women. Okay, all right. Hey, producer, can you run the tape back? See what well, I see? Hey, run it anyway, back. Anyway, um, but yeah, so anyway, I feel like, yeah, she is one of the um, most mature per people on that cast. Uh, but yeah, she was basically saying, you know, uh, 
we we just need to move on and that's why it's very important to be transparent because we know because all of this happened because Brennan Bren was not transparent basically saying you know how he felt about Emily in the beginning so yeah that's what happens when you're trying to out scheme the schemers you know what I'm saying you, you're supposed to come on this show to try and love but no you came in here with a narrative you said you're gonna take control of, you, of your own narrative and uh and you try to deceive everybody you know so that's what happens you know when you go down that rabbit hole it's hard to come out of it so in the next scene you got oh yeah then they show some funny clips oh, child, yeah, 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 yeah. child we didn't care nothing about yeah, those funny yeah, clips yeah. because um child this whole season one fun at all and y'all didn't have that many to show us child because y'all know y'all had to really truly kind of piece them together um so you got kevin and um is talking to Olin and um Lauren. Yeah. So anyway, they showed the clips of they talking about um, taking sex off the table. And basically, when she was looking at the staff, because she never was trying to look at him for real, um, he was just saying, uh, yeah, because Kim was like, okay, that part right there, we used basically saying, you know, sex is off the table because she said she slept with somebody two months ago. Um, but y'all didn't know each other. It wasn't like y'all had knew each other, you know? And he was like, yeah, I was wrong in that instance. So I really truly apologize to her for that because, yeah, I just really truly don't know what I was thinking. Any questions? Mm -mm. Uh, so Lauren said that, you know, she accepted his apology and she felt that it was genuine, but, you know, she still was a little upset about the fact of, you know, I guess him pretty much saying it. Um, Olin did, um, Kevin said, did you feel like you left the process early? He said, well, left the marriage early. He said he felt like he left the process early. And Lauren's like, that's what he do. He separated the process in the marriage. I understood what he was saying. I'm sorry. Was I the only one that understand? I understood what he was saying. Even though I felt like he didn't feel like the marriage probably could have worked in that moment, he felt like if he would have stayed in the process, maybe it would have worked. So I understood what he was saying, you know, because he, if he, if he should have stayed in the process even though he felt like the marriage may not have worked maybe it could have veered and left and went uh, i don't think it could have no i'm just saying okay. that's why he said that he should have stayed in the process um let's see um um laura said that she feel that you know okay what he said is fine but she said she just feel that you know it, it was sad you know it was really truly sad that you know um, he didn't stay in the process or stay to, want to be married or whatever. And um, she just don't feel like they, they was a good match for each other. You know, she don't feel like she, she said she felt like she was ready to be married, but he wasn't. He didn't really truly know what he was signing up for. And, you know, hindsight, Chad, you don't know till you jump up in there. So, yeah. 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 Um, but she said that, you know, um, she wished um, he get what he deserved. Dang. Kevin said, what do you mean by that? I knew what she meant about it. I knew, exactly. I said, ooh. I said, Lauren been watching our video. She said, you know what? I got to take that advice from, from Uncle e because he's right. I need to stand up on my own. I need you know, stand on my own two feet and you know, look out for myself. So I'm going to just say what I got to say. I said, good for you. You taking up for yourself, Lauren. That's right. He get what he deserves. I'm, I'm you glad. You said that? No, I'm just saying, I just got tired of her being a uh, well, uh, floor mat. I got tired of being a floor mat. I got tired of her being walked over. I got tired of her crying all the time. So you need to stand up for yourself. And she finally doing that. And so you take that from what she said she gave. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay. Bless. Yes, I do. All right, bless your heart. Yes. So anyway, heart. um, let's see. But it seemed like um she is, I don't know, she, Kevin asked what she dated, and she was just saying she happy. You know, either way you go, she happy, honey. She said, whether somebody come in her, her life or out her life, she happy. She really and truly didn't want to say whether she was with somebody or not. But it seemed like O'Lion, he said he dated. Yeah, 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 man, come on, O'Lion ain't dating nobody. He's still lying. Yeah, yeah, O'Lion yeah. still lying. He ain't dating. trying to say that to get on her skin. Yeah, I think so, nobody. too. I don't think he dating nobody. Child, he too busy cutting grass. He okay. got like 10 yards per day. He got to cut. <laughs> He said he used to do. He said he had lost his job then. Yeah, he was doing he doing our our job. Yeah, you know? so, that's what that yeah. explains his outfit. Yeah. So um, but yeah, the, and then he, they had asked later, you know, anybody recognize you? Tell me on the flight over here, the flight attendant. I hope she um put some of your drink there. I don't know what plane he went on, what airline he went on. Spirit. And you know what they be doing on spirit. 
they oh. be singing sexy red is a quartet. <laughs> yeah, did I see that video? Yeah, so ghetto families. <laughs> So you just gonna continue move with that micro. You can do what you want to. So if y'all here in the in the ruffle and stuff, that's it. What you wanna do? Sit here still with the mic in my hand. Put it back on the thing. And y'all, then my beard gonna be rubbing it. Well, you need to find a place. I don't know. I need another mic that can I can hold. When you have when you when the mic is right what? here. When the mic is right here, you don't do it. You be way over that's here. That's why I need one I can hold. No. No, then you gonna be still having it. No, job. I won't be like a rappers and stuff. Like you, you ain't know, never satisfied. You know. I'm, I'll be on here on the internet searching for better equipment, searching how to upgrade this, or upgrade and, that. And why you on the internet satisfied. searching for stuff? What I'm doing? I still working. And you act like I ain't hard working. for the money. And I'm working hard for the money. Except my work up here on my brain. You work with your hand. I got work with my brain too. You know how many lives I have at stake while I'm out there working. Every time I see a school bus go by, I said, I'm saving them kids' lives. So, no. Don't trip. I, I work up here. Well, don't trip and act like don't I trip. don't do nothing. Just because I work in a cushy place. Okay, then. But I don't. I work in a harsh environment. I don't mean it cushy like, like that. I mean, you have to yes, work in the heat. Yeah, it's real cushy. I don't cushy. work in the heat. Yeah, she was real cushy. No, it ain't. What you doing? Nah. I ain't saying no, that. Now, you can sit on the old job, but not this one, child. Nah. <laughs> I, I'm here. Is that Judge Matthews in the back? <laughs> yeah, like, ooh. Oh, it was the name for uh you I heard I call it You're not the father. I said, Oh, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm listening to someone working, child. I said, there she go. You're not the father. I know what she doing. <laughs> anyway, I'm working. You finna act like I ain't working, Chad. But anyway, so uh You're la- not the father. <laughs> so um but yeah th- so after that you i'll ask know, you a question mm-hmm. you think they had they, they hired track guys for the cameraman for that show anyway so let's you, move on you, ah, the women running out the back the cameraman falling god why do you always running when they about to follow so let's so um <laughs> the experts come out y'all and oh, three people in the room so basically, you know, um, Kevin was saying, listen, Dr. Uh, Pia. Dr. Pia, what she said, this is her first full season. Girl, I hope you come back. Um, um, third Paris, season, so but the in, first full time. I saw in Chicago. Thing. And then, um, yeah, because she said that's her city. And then Pascal said he came on season four. And then Dr. Pete, I mean, Dr. She's Pepper, OG. And you can see it. She looked like she been through She's some OG. Shots. She's she the original it. gangster. She got her looking kind of, you know, just saying. And so Dr. Pepper said she been, but out of all the seasons, they ain't never seen no plotting scheming like this. Plotting is I think <laughs> Even Atlanta, hun, they known for scammers. No, I just Atlanta. think. But not them. I just think. Reality shows, especially cast members nowadays, they're trying to be too smart. Yeah, because this is not the only show they did this on. Nah. Okay, so they did it on, uh, you know, Ready to Love. Now this, heck, they even try to do it. Love is blind. So yeah, it's just cast members, man. You got to really vet these people nowadays. So yeah, basically, say that's the first time that the cast really tried to, you know, kind of play, excuse me, play the system. And so anyway, um. So they wanted to come and talk to the lady. So the lady said that, you know, again. it wasn't us, Chad. It was Cameron. He was the mastermind about all this stuff because Pascal was like, y'all just blame the men. Well, who? The men, the, y'all had nothing what to do with What the point the is, men, is, y'all yeah. went along with what right. the men said. Yeah, okay, okay. Even though the men probably started this, 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 this plot and this scheming, y'all went along with it. Y'all could have stopped it. Y'all could have, like, you know what? I'm 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 out. I'm not gonna do it no more. But you guys didn't. Yeah, I went along with it. So hey, you can't put all the blame on the men. Yep. And so they said, Well, who is the lead of this child? Oh, Cameron. Cameron. Cameron says, I can't do that. I got a bad heart. <laughs> I can't lead. You know, so yeah, man. Don't you try to throw Cameron on the bus, man. So um Dr. P said, um, you know, that's when you said that part, you know, ladies, y'all. Yeah, you yeah, we didn't we heal it. We they didn't say heal, but oh, we come together and we there for support. And when we watch the show, we just do this and we do that. Yeah, or y'all, y'all women are just toxic, you know. Y'all just mad, y'all angry, y'all bitter, you know, and sad to see. Because the way I look at it, if you guys was over the guys, 
if you was over your ex husband's, this stuff won't even phase right. you. Okay, you just keep it moving. Hey, yeah, you know, I wish them the best, and you know what, I'm living my best life. But no, y'all got caught each other. Up. We gonna go up pink. We gonna be like a gang. We gonna show these jokers who the bosses. You know, cause you bitter, you still mad because you feel like you lost the game. Yep. So, um, so the experts are talking to the guys. So Dr. P said, listen, I'm pretty much shocked to hear about all this stuff that's going on. And then they said, Cameron, you the ring ring leader? Cameron, Cameron said, who me? Who, why? I'm not the ring leader. No, I'm not. I have a bad heart. I listen, can't be real. Sounds like, <laughs> sound like some of a kid show, Jeffrey the Giraffe or something. Hey, little children. Uh, that's, that's, my, that's my Australian accent. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm from New Zealand. My name is Cameron. I live in Denver, Colorado. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. I nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that nail up and throw it away, child. Cause nope, mm -mm. no, that sounded like. Country, Don't be hating on my skills. Country, he is such a hater, it, man. It, it, it was country, like a country something. Too bad. Anyway, um, know, like that wig you got, uh -huh. straight, like that wig you got yep, on, straight from two B. Two B ish, it's real two B ish right now, child. Yeah, just boy. wait till I get my braids. They mm -hmm. come and just hold on. But anyway, um, so yeah, Cameron's like, who me? I'm like, mm, no, I, 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 I had nothing to do with these marriages. I admit I had something to do with what I took place with my situation, whatever. But these guys, you know, I ain't had nothing to do with their marriages. And he said, and you know what? I feel bad. You know, I take ownership. And um, and Cameron said, you know, um, I really and truly apologize to Dr. Pepper, um, because I lied to you. And then he started to tell. I said, oh, Lord, shoot. Lord, yeah, what great, on? great actor. Yeah. What we great, got going great on? actor, yeah. man. And Dr. Pepper fell for it. He said, nah, baby, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. Your apology means a lot. I said, Dr. Pepper, don't be buying into that, man, because he got some tears in his eyes. You know, some people can cry on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. Emily. But How Emily did it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so Cameron that like a bad, bad acting. So boy. Cameron was just saying, you know, uh, he said I didn't learn anything. I was like, Cameron, it, stop at the tears. Now you gotta add oh, that extra yeah. stuff on it. That was the chef's kiss. The oh, chef yeah, see. Not the chef kiss, but the chef's kiss because he had to go with that little extra step that made Dr. Pepper real feel real bad. It was okay. You, everybody learns you, something every day. You touched it first. Oh. Everybody learns something new every day. I said, okay, that's why Karen make. It. See, that's why I think Karen. That's why she said, you know, Karen like gas like people make. He know how to play the game. Yeah, he did. He do, and um, yeah. So he he. he he played the game. The whole tell, season. Yeah. I, I admit, Cameron was behind some stuff. Now, did he do all that stuff the lady said? No. Nah, like, yeah. he, they made it seem like he just put this to their head and said, come on, we're going to do this now. Um, they went along with him, whether he sweet talked them into doing it, whatever. I keep um, telling you, it's the accent, man. That's how he fooled people, man. I'm but, uh, but yeah, so he did that and all that stuff, whatever. So Brendan apologized to Dr. P, which I felt it was genuine. Yeah, now that, I, now Brendan, he should have apologized to Dr. P because how he was acting when Dr. P was trying to help him out. He was like trying to shut her out and shut her down. So I'm glad that he apologized to her. And Dr. P, she was sitting there looking all store and regal. That's right. I bet she had AKA in them pink shoes and green You dress. think so? Yeah. Well, she could be a Delta. Yeah, we get cussed out. Ain't no Delta's gonna wear no pink and green. <laughs> Ain't no that's blasphemy. Hey. So anyway, on the next scene, they all coming back in, child. And I don't, I really, truly do not blame the ladies, all of them, for their bouncing, come back, bouncing, walk back. Let's go. I was like, child, I hope y'all really, and truly paying me extra money for this, honey, because all this up and down, back and forth, child, in these heels and stuff. And I can tell Becca she was tired. Oh yeah, she was tired. Uh, yeah, all of them was tired. Um, but some on Emily, honey, Emily she, wasn't tired. Yeah, she was really old. Emily and Claire. They wasn't tired. I think the only yeah, there's probably the only two that wasn't tired because everybody else was ready to go home, but they had to get something off their chest though. 
Um, so anyway, they all coming back and you know, you hear Brendan and them over there talking, you know, now they was mic'd up, but they was talking like they wasn't on the camera, like you know what I'm saying. But anyway, so he was like, you know what I'm saying, these girls don't even like each other. Like Emily, I had to talk to her because she didn't even like Claire. Yeah, she said he said so I kinda hate that I made her like Claire or something like that. <laughs> but um so anyway, um so they all coming back and you know kevin is the babysitter so he got to tell them hey listen behave because they already getting kind of snappy he was like can we just get through this you know everybody be cordial and be nice and stuff like that no back and forth i said yeah lee kevin i hope they increase your check for that because he said afterward he said this was hell <laughs> he knows every time between takes kevin has makeup all his plume paint his head and stuff Probably sweat all his makeup I off. Know, right. <laughs> um, so anyway, um they they talk about it, but production, y'all keep adding this on, y'all. Anyway, so they talk of they show the clips about the double dating thing or whatever, trying to get to the straight of it. So it from what I understand is that the ladies feel that though that the guys was gonna be on double dates even though they were still married. Now Cameron Cameron said we were separated. Claire said, no, no, we were still mad. Why was Claire crying? Now, oh, I'm sorry, I skipped this most important part. Why they up there, now if anybody got a trauma bond, it's Claire and Emily. They got a trauma bond. Mm -hmm. So why they up there showing the re, re, re clips of this stuff, child? And the part where they Emily started crying because Claire telling her, your man is going on a double date with my man, Jack. What the part was, baby? Yeah, they were sitting there talking to one, they were sitting there talking to one another and, uh, and she said, yeah, Claire. And I was like, yeah, Emily. You know, Brenda out there trying to have sex with other women. <laughs> I said. At the same doggone time as the re, what they call it? The re, the the clip playing over again. She got into straight formation of the same. The same. <laughs> she did it. Yeah, that's was some other Tubi movie, man. It's like God, it was so, so such a low budget acting going on. Man. I said, this is a mess. Is are you so bent on making America hate Brenda? I just don't know your end game because truly you cannot be that. And some people just hate to lose. And I think she hate to lose. And she's trying to make sure, since I lost Brandon, I'm going to make you suffer for it. That's just the way I look at it. Her and Claire start crying, which I don't understand. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. If y'all said these men are trash, they they not for, they want to go on there. What is you sitting up there crying for? They, they threw that crying spirit on um, mm. Laura threw it on there. Yeah, yes. mm. I'm glad you brought it. Yeah, Laura threw it on there. Laura threw it on there. Get it off me. <laughs> Shrug my shoulder. What was that? What was that? Uh, what was that JC song? What the Hollow Shake? No, white what? White with Carl Shrug my JC. Who is JC? <laughs> Jay Z. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> but anyway, so yeah, um, hey, nah, Poppy Collar. Not Poppy Collar. I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, brush your shoulder. So she sit up there crying, Shrug and it was shoulder. just so so dr dramatic. Um. Let's see. Um, so it seemed like Cam tell the story of what happened. So basically, you want to tell the story? What he basically, said. what it is, him and uh, Brendan was out. He saw they was at a bar. He saw the two women over there. And Cameron said to Brenda, man, once we get single again, we should go to ask them two women out to go on dates. Basically, that's what he said. Do I believe Cameron? Nah. That don't make sense. Them women, do y'all know them women? Right, exactly. So, so, yeah. So, do I believe Cameron? Mm, nah, not really. I I just feel like he was just trying to make that stuff up to save face. But, uh, yeah, yeah, because um, Cameron said that, you know, he his marriage was over. And but if his marriage is over. They will say, no, we were, we were separated for the first time or the second time, whatever. And then Brendan said, well, my marriage pretty much over. No, it wasn't because you were still married. But, me. like, last week, if – Cameron and, and, and uh, what's her name, Claire, mm -hmm. marriage is over. Why did Cameron say he he would try it again? I know. Why would we say he would try to date her again? You know. So yeah, I don't buy that. Yeah. Um. So it seems as though that um Cameron was basically saying that you know y'all the one really to the scheme and Brandon was like yeah because y'all dressed alike and stuff like that. Y'all color coordinate. And Lauren said, hold up, Cameron. 
you think that we're scheming because we dressed alike. Now, hold up now. So, ooh, come on, black girl. Come on. No, 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 no. Because she's going to get him. No. Then, didn't that camera, didn't, didn't camera go like Yeah, he okay. did. But the point is, okay, I see you, Laura. But Lauren. Lauren, I see you. It's a little too late. It's a little too, you should have did that little line when you first did you like that. That's what you should have did. It's a little too late now. So, okay, hey, I give you uh, A for uh, for effort, but uh, it's, it's too late for that. To me, Lauren be making it seem like she in a good place, happy place, or whatever, but I really truly don't think No, so. she's I think still. That when they all come together, that bad they feed energy. feed off each other, man. It's like a. It's like a uh, a flock of bad seagulls, man. It's like they feed off their own bad energy, yep. and you know, and if once if one of them their energies get low, here you go, girl. Here you go some of that more, some more of that negative energy. Yep. So they they get they get that power up, man. Yep. So yeah, that's all that is. Yeah. What what they call the liquid courage? Mm. Basically, that's what it is. Come on, when they drink alcohol, mm. they tell they but still again the, the courage from liquid uh, from from the alcohol, they get it from each other. Um, so anyway, enough of all that bull crap because it was so much stuff, y'all. I ain't been to say go into all of that. But um, so we get down to the uh the nitty gritty the the final part of because it seemed like he was trying to go on and on. It should have been stopping it within an hour. I guarantee you it was up to Emily and Claire still be going right I, now. I know they probably still somewhere walking off stage with them peak on and crying. So um so they were talking about he was saying as far as your social media um, you know, have anybody noticed you in the street? Lauren said, yeah, it's kind of awkward for her, but she's glad that she just be a nice per person overall. So, you know, who, who um, said that? Lauren. Uh, if, she, if Lauren walked past us right now, I would never recognize her. Now she started crying. I go, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> So um, Emily said that, you know, hey, you know, as far as us, she was like, once he said that he wanted to track, that I was not attracted to my DMs, I was like, girl, we could tell you just lying, child. No, no, no. No, I, I believe her. I really, first of all, when he said she was ugly, you know, her DMs probably just He didn't say she was ugly. <laughs> I was saying, but, but the point is, I think the one night stand thing got a lot of guys' attention. Oh, she down one night stand. Let me say, I okay, I don't, I don't think that she's lying, but I think that she said that only for. Him oh, no doubt, no that. doubt about that. That's what but I the point is, say. I do believe her DMs are popping, yeah, because some guys probably think she's a, she's easy. Mm. But anyway, that's pretty much it, child. I really truly don't want to see the way are they now. It looked like Chicago finna have a popping child. Oh, there you, there you go. Let me see, you you setting your expectations too high already. Well, I'm already. Go ahead, you start low. Yeah, you got to start low, man. You said I'm too high, you get disappointed. Oh, that whack show. So I'm starting real low. I think, I think okay. I think it, it might be eh. Now, I hope I'm wrong, but it may be eh. I think Chicago. I'm starting low. Chicago may be popping. No, there you go. No, I think it's going to be eh. I want eh. to Chicago. Oh, yeah, okay. But anyway, y'all, that's it. That's all God knows. The way are they not as fine. But after that, I don't want to ever see these folks on no TV. They better not invite them to their reunion. No kind of special. Let them just go away in the whiz and just take the wind on. Go on in, the, in the cold up under the snow. On that note, you guys, that's all we got. Don't forget to go God and let God go with you. And don't forget our live tomorrow at 7 o'clock Central Time. Uh, we're going to talk about Mary at First Sight, Rare to Love, and whatever y'all want to talk about, but you got to keep it clean, okay? And don't try to come over and take over, and don't be trying to pick no fights, because you will be blocked and muted, because, uh, cause, yeah, I ain't even going to have that crap over here. Deuces. And I'll put God first. Hey!